What's Gucci everyone, it's AJ here again, and in this video we're going to learn about how to create a simple welcome message for your Bash shell. So if I go to Spotlight here and open up, open up my terminal, you can see I have, a, I have a nice little 3D message of my name. Now I could have anything printed out that I wanted to, but I chose to have a nice little ASCII art thing of my name, which you can commonly see in a lot of um, Bash shells when people open it. So the way to do this is pretty simple. First of all, I'm going to clear my terminal, sadly get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my favorite text editor and open up my bash rc file, my dot bash rc file. So make sure you're in the root if you're in terminal. And I'm going to open it up. And as you can see, my bash rc file, it's pretty simple. So it's got something coming out. But all you can see here is I have all these echo statements of my ASCII art here. I have an, I have an echo statement of... AJ Norton um, with the quotes and all the fancy symbols and so you may be thinking wow AJ this looks pretty cool it must have taken you quite a bit of time to make this well that is not true there is something another wonderful thing called the internet and there are great things like text text to ASCII art converters converters so for instance if I went on if I went on this site I'll have in the description below and just search you know create ASCII art you know, I could simply look up, you know, I could simply, you know, type in my name and then there's nice little converters to take whatever text you want and put it in insane different types of fonts, which you can then just copy and put in front of echo statements with the quotes. Don't forget the quotes. And then you have your own ASCII art. So it's a great thing to do and it's a great thing, you know, to make yourself look cool and um, be part of you know, get more part of the Linux terminal family. And don't forget to save when you quit, if you edit it, and then uh, reload it with source.bashrc, or just close and reopen the terminal. And that will rerun the bashrc file, which is what the terminal automatically looks for to run. And there you go. Have a great day, guys.